We're here in Oregon to do our first ever Oregon mountain bike ride. It's been a while since we've been riding and it's good to be back on the bikes. All right, pace yourself. We're gonna be climbing for six miles. Woo! Exciting being on a fire road. This is like a grave mint road. It's half pavement, half gravel. Time to stretch. A lot of people run this trail as a shuttle and have their friends drop them off on the top in their car and just ride the downhill section. That's fun. And we'd rather be doing that probably. But we're okay to get some exercise. This is how we get exercise. About seven miles climb over 2,000 feet up to the top. We are in the clouds. Done with our climb, took us an hour and a half. That is paradise that way. Yeah! This is awesome! Today's tip of the day is about tire pressure. Most new riders ride with way too much tire pressure. If all you ride are paved city trails, pump it up as much as you can, it'll be more efficient. But there's a reason we have these big tires on the mountain bikes. Typically I like to run 27 to 30 PSI. I have too much right now. These are 2.3 inch tires. They're a little too hard. That's looking better. So you want to be able to squish them and, and they should give a little bit. If your tires are too low, you will feel your rim bouncing off rocks and curbs and stuff when you hit it. That's too low. So find the balance for you, but if you're a newbie, generally go squishier than you think, especially if you have tubeless tires. The squishiness, just like a rock crawler or a Jeep, will spread out. It'll smooth out the trail, it'll give you more control, and it'll give you a lot more contact patch on the ground because the tire spreads out so you can grip better on corners and climbs and stuff. You'll be a little bit slower on pavement and stuff where you don't need traction, but in the dirt, you will have much better traction. So, today's tip, 27 to 30 PSI in your tires. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here right now. Woo! Feels like I'm dreaming. Don't lean back too much. Use your front brake a lot. Nice ride. Yeah! Oh, this is sweet. Lean. Good job. Trust that berm. It's funny, you wouldn't think a long downhill would tire you out. You'd think, yay, it's all downhill. It's tiring because you're leaned over in attack position, feathering your brakes, weight on your feet. Uh, it takes a lot out of your body. So if you haven't done a whole lot of these, it's pretty tiring. You'd think downhill racers can just be fat and lazy and just whoever breaks the least wins. But they are in amazing shape because it's a lot more like motocross where it's hard on your body and you're tense and you're leaning and you're focusing on everything. My seat's almost always touching one of my legs. Look ahead. Front brake. so incredible oh man how would you rate the downhill portion of that trail oh it's it's amazing 
10 out of 10. I mean, it's just hard because it's fast and I'm not good at fast. I agree. I, I'm even learning how to go faster and I can't process the trail fast enough. The thing is, even fast guys aren't going to ride this trail much faster because the turns are so tight and the consequences are so big with logs cut off and cliffs and stuff. If you blow through a turn, you're wadding up and going to the hospital. So even pros wouldn't ride that. They'd ride it faster and significantly faster, but they're not like no brakes just flying down that. That's, that's hard stuff to really fly really fast because one small mistake and you're done. Man, that was fun though. Pacific Northwest has some awesome trails. This would be totally fun on a hardtail too. That was not bumpy at all. Fender just did 12 and a half miles. That was a little rowdy.